Hi, Ryan. I work for Controls and Equipment in Moncton, New Brunswick. And basically today I'll show you how to take off a DNS24L and put on a DNS CM, CHM24, which has got occupancy sensor, it's got temperature sensor, and CO2 sensor built in, motion sensor. So Pat, can you explain why we're doing this in our office? Well, what we've done in, in our building, as you've seen in other CETV episodes, is we're trying to showcase all the new products that come out in the market. Uh, we're trying to make this as efficient as we can in, the, in a normal building situation. Uh, it's a brand new product, so it never was open when we built the building. We want to um, have the lights turn on and off based on the occupancy instead of on a switch. And we also want to experiment what an office is CO2 content and how much air has to come in, use demand ventilation to get as, as much of uh, fresh air into this room as you need to get to required 800 parts per million. We um, had a construction crew doing all this, but also in having a showcase in the building, it's showcased not just for clients, but it's for our own staff. So we have a group of engineers with Devin and David who's behind the camera that is estimating this, putting hours into how long it takes to do that. So what we want to do is make sure that these guys also know how it happens. So when you talk to install crews, you know uh, how much time it is and you can relate, uh, relate to them. Well, again, we'll work with consultants. If the consultants want to come over and see what it takes to do this, we'll allow them to use a screwdriver, take on and off material or parts as they see fit. And you're going to say that you can do these one every five minutes. Yes. <laughs> Wire fittings? Yes. So you didn't you don't have to go take off the power, you don't have to take off the network cable? Yeah, so basically we're gonna reuse um, the wire fittings from the old DNS onto the new DNS. Because all the programs is already hey, what does that DNS stand for? Like Delta Network Sensor. Perfect. What protocol does that run? This run off LinkNet, uh, backnet protocol to the DNS. Perfect. Basically, after we finish uh, taking off the old DNS and putting on the new back backplate sensor for the DNS CHM24, so I'll reuse the wires and the two wire connections. So I'll just snap this on and it should work. And as you can see, we can turn on and off the light. So that's how simple and easy it is. Okay, we'll show you where the tie-in of the window contacts are with the room thermostat and the VAV in the, in the room. So you come over here. Uh, here's an example of a window contact. Uh, wireless, batteryless, solar. So when we open up the window, it, it, the contact is broken and the thermostat will go into an unoccupied mode, so it turns off all the external heating and cooling. If you want air, free air, we're not going to supply you with mechanical cooling or a hot water heating. Uh, a very good way to save energy, a very good way to get a lot of all the fresh air you ever need. And it now knows that the window is closed, there's occupant in here with the, the picture of a person. And now you can have the heating and cooling on. So you're allowed to have free fresh air, but you're not going to have heating or cooling if you have your window open. Easy to go on, stick on, move it around. It's one of the principles of saving money.